Oh? I know I'm not the only one thinking this. So much has been happening lately. I feel like I've just been getting dragged along without really understanding anything. But now, I want answers. So I'm gonna ask you straight out. You've been hiding something from us, haven't you, Senpai? You're always acting like you don't know anything about the Dark Hour or Tartarus. But they're connected to that accident ten years ago, aren't they? What accident? Y yukari chan There was an explosion near our school and a lot of people died. It must have been big news back then. You know about it, don't you? Yes. Luckily, no students were injured. But something is off here. At the time of the incident, there were several unexplained absences. Seems like more than just a coincidence to me. What do you mean? Well, I dug up some old school records and found something interesting. Those students weren't just absent. They all suddenly collapsed and had to be sent to the hospital. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Remember those girls who bullied Fuka? They had to be hospitalized too. I want an explanation. What really happened on the day of that accident? The Kirijo group built our school, so you have to know something. Tell me the truth. I wasn't trying to hide anything from you. It just never seemed relevant. But... It's okay. It's not your fault. All right. I'll tell you everything. Shadows have many mysterious abilities. Some research indicates they can even affect time and space. We think of them as our enemies, but what if we could somehow use them to our advantage? They could be a source of unimaginable power, couldn't they? What? Fourteen years ago, one man pursued that very line of thinking. He was the former leader of the Kirijo group, Koetsu Kirijo, my grandfather. My grandfather was obsessed with the shadows. He wanted to harness their power to create something extraordinary. Create something extraordinary? To that end, he assembled a research team and had them amass a number of shadows. He was collecting them? Damn, that's freaking crazy. But ten years ago, during the final stages of the project, there was an accident, and the experiment failed. They lost control of the Shadow's power, altering the nature of the entire world. You can't mean... Yes. Tartarus and the Dark Hour. According to the records, the accumulated mass of shadows split into several large ones that later dispersed. These are the shadows we've been encountering on nights when the moon is full. Maybe that's why it's difficult to predict where they'll appear. Wait a minute. If what you said is true, then why did our school turn into Tartarus? Don't tell me. Is it because that's where they conducted the experiment? Yes. Than those students who were hospitalized. It's just as you fear. It was a highly populated area, and the Kirijo group had influence there. They could essentially do as they pleased. Port Island must have been the perfect location for them. So yes, as you guessed, the experiment ten years ago was conducted at Gekokan High School. Just what are you trying to say here? So that's the whole purpose behind Seas? We were dragged into all this just to clean up their mess? You lied to us? <sighs> and you knew too, didn't you, Sonata Senpai? You've both just been using us! Or do you not care as long as you're the one who gets to do the fighting? I never said anything like that. I have my reasons. Think what you'd like. But it was my decision not to share the information. I'm sorry. 
It was never my intent to deceive you. Convincing you to join Seas was my highest priority. I know it may not be fair, but Shadows can only be defeated by Persona users. We are the only ones who can fight. That's hardly the point! I never had a choice either. It didn't matter if I wanted this power or not. I... Mitsuru, that's enough. Takebakun, it's only those in the past who are to blame. And they lost their lives as a result of what they did. We're all in the same boat here. None of us deserve the burden that's been thrust upon us. But that's... <sighs> it's been ten years since the incident in question. No one knows why those shadows suddenly returned. But now that they're here, we have the chance to find and destroy them. Do you realize what that means? What if I told you that the Twelve Shadows are the cause of everything? You're saying if we defeat them all, Tartarus and the Dark Hour will disappear? Exactly! That's what I was going to tell you earlier. See? It's good news, isn't it? Can that really be true? There's evidence to support it, and this is where our true battle begins. Our true battle. Regardless of what's happened in the past, we must fight to protect the people. The shadows are gaining strength. We can't afford to wait for them to strike first. Right. And there are still many mysteries surrounding Tartarus. For instance, why did such a gigantic structure appear in the first place? The answers must be out there somewhere. Hmm. Yes.
my schedule is so terribly packed. I don't usually have time for your average Joe, you know. You should be glad you're such a handsome boy. All right, let's add a new word to our vocabulary today. Repeat after me, placebo. Hmm, the stress is on the middle syllable. Very good. You're feigning interest well. A placebo is a pretend pill. Basically, it's a medicine to give you peace of mind. Imagine this, a supplement to eliminate those unsightly love handles without lifting a finger. Or a car navigation system that uses real-time image data to make your commute all the smoother. Or at least make it feel that way. These are just a fraction of our unique line of products. Huh? You're really wowed by those bogus products? I suppose one could see them as rather spectacular. Our business doesn't provide tangible benefits. It provides peace of mind. Take emergency supplies, for example. People feel safe just because they have them, don't they? As it turns out, <laughs> the more money people spend, the better they feel. Now then, that's it for today's lesson. You can pay me back when you make your first million. <laughs> Have you been keeping your promise? You didn't tell anyone, did you? If you go back on your word, you might be surprised to find your profile suddenly on an internet dating site. Lounging about as usual, huh? Hmm? Hugh, what do you want? If you're gonna ask me to go back, the answer's still no. That's not why I'm here. I was just making sure you were still around. That's so. We've known each other a long time. It's been almost 14 years since we met at the orphanage. You, me, and Miki. We used to run around here until the sun went down. Back then, it seemed like we had all the time in the world. <laughs> you haven't changed one bit. If you want to get all sappy, go do it with your other pals. What was that? It's rare for you to think about the past. Usually, you just charge ahead like a damn fool. You've never been good at hiding shit. Everyone thinks about the past, even me. Anyway, we finally know how to get rid of Tartarus in the dark hour. No shit? Yeah. The thing is, all I've cared about until now is getting stronger. Everything else came second, but yesterday, someone made me question my reason for fighting. Your reason for fighting? Huh. It's different for everyone. But if you don't have a good one, you can always quit. That's what I did. I'm not like you. <laughs> Man, I can't believe I'm the one getting lectured here. <sighs> well, see you around. Hmm. You really haven't changed at all. Do you excel at providing support during battle? You are also quite skilled at gathering information. Oh, I I'm sorry for doing that without permission. Don't worry, you're not in trouble. But I do have an important favor to ask of you. 
I want you to find out as much as you can about that incident ten years ago. Oh, well, very little of that was made public. I know. That's why I want you to access the Kirijo Group's database. You mean, hack into their system? Is that allowed? I'll give you my ID and password. Then you won't be held accountable. But I need to know the truth. In detail. Senpai? Of course, I'll understand if you refuse. Okay. I'll see what I can do. Are you sure? I appreciate it. Yamagishi, aren't you resentful? Regardless of my good intentions, I did drag you into this without fully explaining. I'm sure you must have at least a few complaints. Not really. Did you know my entire family is made up of doctors? My parents are the one exception. It gives them a bit of an inferiority complex. That's why they're so hard on me. I don't like being at home. But here, I'm able to do something no one else can. I have a purpose, so no, I don't have any complaints. You're right. We can't do this without you. No one could take your place. Uh, oh! Thank you. I'll see you later. So, Tartarus in the dark hour are on the way out, huh? No, that's a good thing. It's what we've been fighting for. So then... Why... Damn it! Why am I so pissed? Gosh, it's hot. Even for July. Wow. Can't believe we're already third years. Guess this will be the last time we'll wear these uniforms and hang out after school. <sighs> who cares? I just want to get into college and start having fun already. I get it. My problem is me. I'm going on like fighting was my duty and all. Actually, it's just all I'm good at. Because without that, without that, I'm nothing. <laughs> so much for being a hero. I can't fight worth the shit anyway. Not compared to him, at least. Damn it! Nothing I do is good enough. Am I only ever right about the worst things? Am I stupid for trusting in something so blindly? Dad, I got this letter from you last spring. I must have read it a thousand times since then. To my family, ten years into the future. Tomorrow, I'll bring this letter to the opening ceremony for the Moonlight Bridge. It will be stored in a time capsule and sent to you in ten years' time, Yukari. You may be small now, but in 10 years, you'll be 16. You'll be in high school. I know you've been sad because I have to work so late, but you always manage to greet me with a smile. I'm really proud of myself. Kirijo-san appointed me head researcher. I'll be starting on a big project soon. It feels good to receive so much recognition for my work, but I swear to you, nothing is more important to me than you and your mother. Dad. Yukari, I wonder, are you enjoying life? Do you have high hopes for the future? Do you still look towards tomorrow with excitement and wonder, like you do now? No matter what happens in the next ten years, I hope you're happy. And I hope this letter brings a smile to both you and your mother's faces. Eiichiro Takeba, March 6th, 2000. No matter what happens, huh? All I can do is believe. <laughs> I won't turn my back. I won't be like Mom. Not ever.
I'm going to do it. Good, good. Not bad, kid. Thanks, kid. Bye-bye. 